excuse me, I'm walking across the road. You can clearly see me, you've stopped. Allow me to walk across the road into... Okay, dude, I'm trying to cross the road here. Nice and simple, I'm just trying to cross the road, dude. I'm going to now, sir. Thank you, I am a moron. I'm also schizophrenic, certifiable, and subject to a community treatment order. Why are you parking here? Do you live here? Excuse me, do you live here? This is private resident parking only. Do you live in Gosworth Place? Oh, hi, dude. Oh, hi, right. Hi, oh, are you delivering? Delivery. Sorry, yeah. Sorry, dude, I'm in the way. Sorry, I'm trying to find people there legally parking. Oh, yeah, I know. See, you've got no spaces to park in. No, no, I've just dropped it number eight. Oh, it's no worries, dude. I know you do from the, Sorry, from the club around hard the hard corner. Hard. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, dude, um, yeah. are you coming this way later? I'm not sure yet. You're not sure yet. I was thinking about maybe having a kebab later yeah, for no, two. Don't give me the I'll drop you off. Okay, do, I might come down to the shop later. No, I've problem. got some coffee or some milk or something like that no, to go. No, Alright, you I take it easy. See if you can find a space. Right. Or just drop the car in the middle and block everybody in. No, no, just walk in and anyway. Yeah, it doesn't matter, dude. You know what I mean? You're coming here legitimately to deliver food for a resident. Yet all we get is illegally parked cars. Every single one of them. Clearly under the sign. There's another one there. It's lit. In the darkness, I can read these number plates. So if I say Delta Foxtrot, or mysteriously now, according to the Misterant, Bravo Foxtrot, numerals 54, Hotel Yankee Zulu, with a Megan a Renault in silver, oh, SN, see you. Aha, that's tinned. So, what fucking colour blue is that? Does that? belong to a guy that lives back there somewhere that I had basically one of them in kind of like that kind of colour except it was more purple so whose are these cars mysteriously hiding in the darkness again and again now you might be a resident across the road they've got their own ideas about parking this is a private space as it clearly states so to the housing association we fucked up, don't clamp our cars, or £5,000 per wheel for illegally parking in Muir's Housing Association sanctuary space. That is not sensible if you've got one of them in the hallway. Those old Dorises used to do that. That paedophilic prick will be out after that faster than one of them can come down the stairs. So I'm waiting till that fucking clicks. Then I'm going to fucking test it. Then I'm going to ask who fucking opened it. So now I'm testing it just as I tested mine. I know her and the little one and a couple of the other old Dorises. So, it not being fucking Friday. <laughs> I won't be putting out a marijuana cigarette that I'm about to launch up, have a fucking great big Hong Kong, and then go quietly back up to my house up there and carry on playing about on the fucking telly. <laughs> Oh, so fucking simple now, isn't it? Sit here, arguing, shouting, drinking, till after fucking one o'clock in the morning, and then give everybody else a fucking problem when they want to go outside. Well, you're not fucking in, are you? <laughs> so where's your pussy? The little ginger one you keep fucking fondling, dreaming it's a fucking ginger scotty. All fucking sunburnt as well. <laughs> oh no, he's fucking wanking over a jock. Dreaming of that iron brew. 
and I massacre with a fucking claymore. For perverts like you, you can fucking run, but you'll never be able to fucking hide. I am going to watch you fucked up the arse and have your throat slit as they take apart your spleen and your fucking liver. And that goes for your fucking dead hard mate. Do you want to know how much I give a fucking toss? I'll show you. (laughs) So I'll sit there, just in case you want to talk to me. So I'll put you about where you fucking were, about when it was raining, before, yeah? And you come out about fucking 7.30 in the morning with your fucking newspaper and your clown cup of jugged up juice and sit about fucking here. <laughs> so, no, it was anything different. Oh, yeah. Call me by my fucking name. How do you know that? Only because you threatened to fucking kill me. Why all these fucking lights on all of a sudden? Liars. Well, they're not on. Are they? And that's how fucking quiet that is. Liars. There's a slut whore that lives in there. The one with the blue window boxes. Oh. So there's the marijuana that you're all worried about. This is the disorder it sows amongst the community that you're so fucking concerned about. Liars. Maybe. Not bothered. Liar. Liar. Pants on fucking fire. So, not walking through a fucking locked door. Just double checking nobody's in my apartment. We don't have the sound of a buzzer that you can't hear from down here. But I know that's still ringing up in my flat. Gaining illegal entry. I'm waiting for to click like that. And I'm going to double check it. Now I'm going to think about something like blowing somebody up that tries to come in from the outside without ringing a buzzer. That's it, that. But this is a communal common, sp- common space. So. There's my bollocks. That's my front door. Now I'm being naked in public. According to Diane next door. (laughs) So just checking that nobody can actually see me. I'll pull up my fucking pants, shall I? Do you want me to fasten the buttons 
on my boxer shorts. Would you like me to tie the Ron Hills that I'm also wearing underneath when you think I'm going to strip search in the station? Do you know what you're going to forget? Every fucking word. Every fucking image. Oops. Question, do you want to kill Diane and her daughter? <laughs> so ring her buzzer, arrest the daughter, get Di in the hospital, get her in front of the consultant and let him run the technical prosecution. You lying water. I can't do that. Bust it in, throw a wobbly, then you make your next fucking mistakes. Morning you, and fucking.